All right, everyone, welcome back to the Disc Golf Experience YouTube channel. A few more Brixton Golden Era trades that I made. And I got a package here from Special Package, which has a new set out included in it that I will highlight and mention when I get to it. So, first off, we have a Cat Merch Classics Gold and an Own Scoggins Basket Case out of 15. The merch is out of 25. Those are for sets. Get really close. I need one black. I need Dickerson. I need about eight or nine basket cases still. Uh, I need um, quite a few of the royalties I'm going for. I need five of the six artifacts golds, assuming anyone ever sells them. Uh, I have one, and I have one gold pack that I know has one in it. I can feel it. Like, I can literally feel the edges. So I may not ever get the, all six of those, but I got the coolest one already, so that's cool. Nicholas Antula Black, still needed that one. Um, sorry if I showed your address there, Daniel. I didn't realize there was a secondary package that had more info on it. Didn't pay attention. Here we go. Another package of Brixton Trades, double cardboard. What do we got here? These, some were for set, some were thrown in as kind of even the trade. Rebecca Cox Black out of 25. Nate Doss Black. Out of 25. Haley King, Classics Gold. Out of 25. Chris Dickerson, Classics Gold. Out of 25. We got an Isaac Robinson for my rookie collection. Red, out of 75. And an Aaron Gossage Base, out of 100. So I'm picking up a few of the players I like and the rookies. Uh, if we run out of cards I need for my sets to kind of help even out some trade. So uh, the other person I am collecting is uh, Steady Ed. I wanted to do my best to co collect the whole set of base and its parallels. So all the way up to the checkerboards. I think that would be pretty cool. And sorry, Covert, I, that the idea wasn't sp wasn't because of you, but I know you're doing the same thing. So I wish you luck getting the checkerboards. They're going to be tough. I think you only need one more, which would be gold. So there there would still be some out there, uh, but it's going to be tough to find the people that have them. I think so. Might just. Have to see what happens. Wow, this is really tight. Maybe that's why it didn't cut the top. There we go. I bet you that works. Now I'm just ripping the box. Good enough. Oh, we got a bunch in here. Oh, this was a, a lot I bought on eBay. Paid pretty much top dollar at least in my mind, for the cards. I didn't need a lot of them, but I think there were a few that I did need. And it, it'll help, uh, help. Oh, yeah, it had some rookies in it too, so Bridge. That was the main reason that I bought it, was to get the extra rookies that I wanted. I think I still needed the Merch Black. 
I don't recall off the top of my head. But anyways, um, these will get turned around and put back with uh, my set building lots that I'll have on eBay. Bridge, Verdalen, yeah, I'd had quite a few of the rookies. So I'll just turn these back around if I already have them, or if it maybe it gets me closer to another set. Uh, I think I needed either one or two of those too. So, um, basically, buying for the ones I needed or wanted, and then just turning the other ones around. So, uh, they'll be available. Most of those will be available through me, either as an individual card or as a set building lot for each of the subsets. I'm waiting to post those to the very end. So if somebody's out there and thinking about starting to go for one of those sets or subsets, or parallel sets, um, I will have lots that are probably 50% um, at least for the base and some of those parallels, 50% of the set will be in one lot. Um, it would be basically one of every card that I have extras of for that set. So if I have 42 base cards, that 42 unique base cards, there'll be a lot of 42 for sale. So you can basically start your set um, building that way. This is just three classics golds that were definitely for my set. Avery Jenkins, classics gold out of 25. Ricky Waisaki and Adam Hammes. There. And then lastly, this is from Greenville Disc Golf. I heard about these guys last year, I think was the first time I heard about them. And they run the down south, down east, down south, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's on the, I think it's on the card. Down south players cup. And they get some pretty big names to play in it. Um... As a match play event, I believe, which I love, match plays. And they produce a set each year with their, um, the players. So what I found out, I asked, I requested this. I said, hey guys, if I order four sets, because they have uh, auto cards, And you get one auto card for each set you buy. So I said, hey, if I order all four, or if I order four, would you guarantee me one of each auto? And they said, yeah, absolutely. So being a set collector, I don't want to be, you know, buy one, have the full set, but then only have one auto, and then have to go and track down the other autos. So that was a good way to do that. So I essentially... Paid for four sets, uh, paid for three extra base sets just to get the autos. So I will have the individual player cards available. I think they, well, my dog just went crazy upstairs. My wife was not home, so I hope it's somebody out by the road. Uh, anyways, I'll have the base cards, each individual one, available probably on my website. Um, I believe they may still have some available. I don't know that for sure. Um, but I'm going to go through this with all of the autos. Because it's got, you can probably see it right there now. But uh, it's got Barry Schultz, Wisconsin guy. And 
don't believe Barry may have been included in one of those old, like, 06 player card, playing card set. I don't recall. Um, but this might be his first card. He could have even been in... Could have been in one of the older, even older sets. No, 92, 93, 94. That's probably not. I don't think he was in those. But anyways. So this is what I got. So these are going to be individual player cards. I'll sell them separately. Um, but we have, I'll run through the base set. We have AJ Carey, Down East Players Cup. Wow, I got it completely wrong. <laughs> uh, AJ Carey. Andrew Fish. Barry Schultz. Dan Hastings. Sorry. Better put that way. We got Deanne Carey, Elaine King, Evan Smith. So this might be a situation where there's, you know, a young up and comer in this area. Uh, I think this is in the Carolinas, maybe Georgia, um, that you might be able to get their like first card ever produced before it would be in the DGPT. Gavin Rathbun, Evan Smith, I can't uh, imagine he's on any cards yet, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Gavin Rathbun, don't know this name, Ian Burchett, Luke Sampson, Michael Joe, Michael Johansson, Nate Perkins, Paul Torriello, Torriello. Brian Schweberger, Taylor Rafalowski, Whitney Graham, and then the four autos we have three hundred club Brian Schweberger and Elaine King. And then we have, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Team Castaplast members, Ian Burchett and Luke Sampson. Sorry, I think it's in the sleeve. We have the single Barry Schultz. And we have the carries on a card, AJ and Deanne. So that's the set. It's pretty cool. Um, some big names and some up and comers and um, obviously it's not a tour stop, so it doesn't bring everybody in, but it, it does have some larger names from that area. Um, and then he also sent along an extra, I don't know if this is a complete set, but I think it might be from last year. Uh, so I have, I'll have that available if anybody is interested. Um, definitely made some changes to it this year, which I appreciate. I gave him some feedback. Uh, you can barely see the player name here. It's down tiny like all of the text on here was really small and i understand why they wouldn't want to necessarily put the logo make that too prominent um but definitely want to have you know player name visible and up front uh on the front there so that was one bit of uh advice i gave last year about the set and it looks like he either decided that was the case I'm uh, not sure if my input mattered or not, but that was how I felt. So I'm happy to see it changed. Um, so thanks again. Uh, Max Krotz is the name of the person that you want to reach out to if you would like to buy an entire set. I don't know if they still have any extras, um, but he's the person uh, to look out for in the future. And if you if they are sold out and you're interested uh, in getting one of these, just hit me up. Uh, I may sell a complete set, I don't know, um, but I figured I'd break them apart and let people purchase the individual players uh, they, they may support over buying the whole set at once. So 
Um, but that's it. That's what it's. That was the last package. Uh, as you can see, I have my gold packs. I got asked again today uh, what I'm going to do and when I'm going to do it. Um, I may actually do that this weekend. Uh, I haven't. I've got a few things I got to do to get ready for some upcoming tournaments that I'm running. So I'm extremely busy on that end of things. But um, if I can find the time, I will do that this weekend. And I want to go live, so I don't know if I'm allowed to do YouTube live yet, or I know they have certain criteria for who can do live and who can't. And I don't know if I've met that criteria, if it's based on subscribe. I can't imagine it's based on subscribers, because I only have... 30 subscribers right now but um i'm not positive in the end what those criteria are so i do want to get it out there and publicized so if i do it on youtube uh please and you want to follow along make sure to like subscribe uh, share my page the disc golf experience on youtube and click the bell for notifications if if it allows you to do that and that'll tell you when I go live um, or when I have a new video, I believe. So uh, that would be the best way. But if I'm unable to go live on YouTube, I will record it for YouTube to be posted. And I'll also, with my handy phone, my car phone uh, holder here, I will also tape it, uh, record it, and post it live on Facebook. Uh, probably just on my personal page, on Mike Harrington page. So... Uh, but reach out if you're doing any of the Brixton stuff. Uh, hit me up if you have something you think I need. I'd love to complete my sets and be done with it. Uh, I know there's a couple I'll be chasing for a while, but that's fine. That's part of the fun of it. Uh, but I'd like to get the black uh, Dickerson and the basket cases and the classics gold. If I could get those sets wrapped up, I'd be pumped because that was the the kind of baseline for what I wanted to get done. Uh, I've already got a uh, complete sets of the uh, most of the auto stuff. There's a few that were kind of being questioned as to something may goofy may have happened. Um, so I'm waiting to hear from Ryan about that. I know he was gonna talk soon about it. Um, but we'll go from there. So Thanks for watching, everyone, and hit me on Facebook, Mike Harrington, The Disc Golf Experience, or you can hit me at um, Instagram as The Disc Golf Experience. Excuse me, I'm going. Um, Brixton Discord, you could hit me at, it's now DGX, The Disc Golf, or Disc Golf Experience. It's no longer my personal name. Um, so that's it. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. Have a great weekend and stay tuned soon. If not this weekend, um, it's possible in the next two weekends I could do it. Uh, but it, after that, it would be weeks until I get to it. So I really hope to get that done in the next two weekends, uh, two to three weekends at the most. So, all right. Take care, everyone.